So as you guys can see by the title, today's video is going to be a SFX makeup tutorial. This is new to my channel. I have not done an SFX makeup tutorial on my channel before, but I have done a few of them before and they're very fun to do. They do take a little bit, you know, they do take a little minute to do, but they are very fun to do. And I just thought they'd be perfect to do one for my channel. Um, well, I think I've done a lot of different ones, but I think one that I'm the one that I'm going to do today is basically like the sewn mouth. I don't know if I want to do it to where like your mouth is completely covered, or if I want to do it to where like your mouth is like it is sewn into. But you guys saw at the intro, you guys was so, it's going to see exactly how it's going to come out. But um, yeah, very easy to do. Like I said, they are a little bit time consuming, but they're very fun and very easy to do, especially the one that I have plans to do today. I'm just going to go over something that you would need for this project for this makeup. Um, it's XFX. Pretty much the same product that you will always need anytime you do any kind of SFX makeup look. SFX is special effects. Just It's just a short version of saying special effects. So I got this plastic um, top right here or whatever. You know, you just want to use like a plastic plate or something to be able to pour the blood and the lip latex into it. So that you won't get it into your actual table. So... Yeah, so we're gonna get we're gonna need something like this, just like a clear little top or bowl or whatever you have that is disposable that you can throw away. And then of course you need your blood. I got this blood from Amazon last year when I did my It's a Fix Halloween looks. I made sure to add a, a picture of each one that I've done before. Like I said, I didn't do a YouTube video on it because it was my first time doing them at the time. So I got this from Amazon. I made sure to leave it down in the description box below. I don't know. Huh. This is the brand. It's kind of not really focusing, but this is the brand right here. And I got it for Amazon. I think it was like $10 or something like that. The brand is Kangaroo Vampire Blood. And they're also going to, of course, need some liquid latex, which is very important for when you're doing SFX makeup looks. This allows the whatever you're using for the SFX makeup um, look, whatever the look that you're doing, this will allow the stuff to really stick to your skin and also give you that skin like finish. So this was liquid latex. I also got this from um, Amazon as well. I don't think it's focusing on camera. But like I said, I'll make sure to leave it down in the description box below exactly what brand I got. Both of these were $10 each, so to give like $20. Another thing that you would need is, well, you don't really need this really optional, but this just, just to use for like if you want the glue to dry down a lot faster, like you're like really rushing, or you're just not trying to like wait minutes and minutes to glue to dry, this will allow the glue to dry down very, very quickly. So you won't be waiting all night. And then you're going to need a foundation of your of um, your choice whatever foundation you want to use also make sure that this foundation is your shade you don't want nothing too light you don't want nothing that's too dark you want your perfect foundation shade you guys can see i already did the base like my makeup off camera because i feel like that wasn't really the start of the of the tutorial i want you just to do the sfx part for you guys and then you also need some brushes as well these are some dirty brushes slash sfx brushes that i've used for sfx looks one in um one in specific that you would need is something like a flat like a flat on um, foundation brush to be able to apply the liquid latex you guys are going to see later on in the video um very very easy product that you definitely probably already have anyways but um let's get straight into it and also another thing that don't mind my background because i didn't really i didn't really feel like putting up my well getting out my backdrop stand so my background's a little bit you know a little bit crazy but just don't mind it just mind me I tend to try to make it like blurry in the background so you really can't really focus on the background but yeah also another thing is that oh yeah also if you guys hear my fan in the background it's because it's very very hot and I don't know if you can really hear it or not but if you can then don't do not mind that I'm trying to talk as loud as I can so that you guys so that I can pretty much block it out so first we're going to start off with the plate the little plastic thing and then we're going to start off with the glue you'll probably eventually have to add more but just to start off you would need to add some of the glue onto the plate and a good, a good amount of whatever like i said you probably definitely have to uh, add more because it is going to dry and then you're going to get a, a, a brush like i just mentioned before you're going to get a brush like this you don't have to get this you can use brushes specifically for asfx looks but this is just like a foundation brush that i literally never use for like my regular looks so also another thing i forgot to mention is that you need tissue as well you can also use cotton balls or like cotton but i like to use tissue because it's easier to layer without it looking too puffy so i got a roll of tissue not definitely not going to use all of this tissue just want to make sure that you have a good amount of tissue so that's with that this look i am going to be doing a SFX makeup look where my mouth is completely covered so i'm going to show you guys basically how to do this so first what you're going to start off by doing is going to add some put a ton of the glue onto your mouth and then you're going to make a circle however much that you want to be covered that's exactly what you're going to do so i'm going to do a circle of liquid latex 
and it's easier especially if you are planning on wearing makeup with this I would definitely recommend you to put your makeup on first because it's going to be a little hard to do a full face of makeup when you, don't, you can't really do the mouth parts so you just scroll it across and whatever you don't have to put around your mouth it just whatever part that you are trying to cover that's the part that you're going to add liquid latex around And as you guys can see, it's, it's a lot easier to use a flat brush instead of something that's like a lot more rounder because it's easier to just like slap it on there without it, you know, crumbling up or anything. Now you're going to take your um, tissue. I advise you to do one layer at a time so that it won't really like get too chunky real fast. Just kind of take your time and just layer it. So you're going to layer about this much. Now a little less than this. You take more glue. Yeah, I don't really think this through. Actually, my mouth is completely covered at this point. So I don't know if you guys are going to really be able to hear me. But I'm just going to be taking. I'll make sure to try to probably do like a voiceover. I'll probably just put it at the bottom of the screen exactly what I'm doing. Because in a minute, I'm not going to really be able to talk to you guys. So take more glue and put it on top of that tissue. Okay, so I had to do a quick little buzz art because my mouth was completely covered. But as you guys saw the last clip, I actually just clipped through, like clipped through where my mouth was it, passed my mouth a little bit just so I can be able to sew it, which I'm about to get ready to do now. Now I'm going to be going in with this body paint that I got from Walmart. I got this for $4. They do, I'm pretty sure they do still have it at the store. Or you can get on the website, or you can just go to Amazon and get a variety of different um, color body paints. I'm going to be using the red body paint. And I don't know if the uh, red from the red eyeshadow really picked up on camera for you guys, but basically I'm just going to put the red body paint wherever I put the red paint. I went ahead and did some off camera because I thought I was recording, but apparently I wasn't. So I just put like some like in the openings of this little 
uh, cut that I have going on here. This is not blood. I'm just going to add blood in the end. But this is just like a, a guide or whatever, or like a base for the blood. So now I'm going to go in with my scissors and then I'm just going to cut some holes through here so that I can be able to stick my rope. Not a rope, this is just like a shoestring. I'm going to stick that through there. So I'm going to be putting some holes at the top and the bottom of my clip. I'm going to get your uh, string. Some people like to use thread. Some people use a shoestring like I'm using. You use it different things. I'm just going to be using this because it's the first thing that I saw. So now I'm going to go in with this blood right here, as I showed you guys earlier. And I'm just going to sprinkle some blood around, or run around the mouth area. And I also want to put some inside the mouth area as well. You probably can't hear me because it's there for one, because it's fans on. And for two, because I'm not just clearly showing on. So I'm just going to put the bottom of the screen exactly what I'm trying to tell you guys. So that you guys are pretty much going to understand and know exactly what I'm trying to do. Okay, so we're going to get something like this. I'm going to get something like this and then I'm going to sprinkle this blood all over. And I'm going to sprinkle some of that blood, which I was supposed to do that first. I don't know why I do that first. What well, I usually do first, I'm going to put some of that black on the red so it can darken up. Because so, it looks a little flat right now. I'm going to add some of the blood and fluid in my eyes. 